Wilcox, Arizona. Lumber store. Here's the uh, old downtown Main Street. Just outside of this, we have uh, the Dairy Queens and the McDonald's and that sort of stuff. Uh, seems to be a second part, whereas this is kind of the historical. So it's obviously where everything centered around the railway at some point. Cement factory or something behind me. And a creation station. Greatest show in the universe. Father, Son, and the uh, Holy Spirit. A relic of a train car, I guess. These cast iron wheels, looks like. Some old traffic light. Not sure how that was powered. Um, train thing. Real estate for sale. And then this dining car barbecue spot seems to be the local attraction. Wood fired steaks, burgers. It's actually a big train. So that's cool. Museums and such, this is the main street of the town. And then we got some more of the old um, historical frontage, I guess. That was along the railroad. So customers are few these guys are just waiting for something for somebody to walk in the door and pick up something so unfortunately it's kind of like everywhere else it's kind of a depressed little town but the uh, I'm sure there's things that go on here and the local industry, which is probably some form of agriculture. There it is. Well, here we are. Second piece of random property. Uh, south of Wilcox. Found out it's on a, a locked ranch field uh, talked to a couple of people um, with some campers uh, that have a little plot of land themselves three got three people three separate people so I got a lot of information from them uh, so I came to a locked gate with no access so apparently um, Arizona law is that the farmers can free range basically their their cows their cattle and uh there's two different fields and i guess somebody has a farm with some generators and stuff that was getting stolen so here we are um, um well they've locked the gate so that i can't get through so if you can make it out um that little dot there if you can't zoom in is uh left of my ear or right maybe for you is uh where i had to park the car and uh anyway the lot here again beautiful to build to access <laughs> your whole little hut here um you know of course you gotta work out your off-grid utilities but hey i'm paying for some land 
So it's half an acre that costs something like eight dollars a year in taxes. Um, and even though a lot of these lots have been sold off, it is a floodplain here, so it has to be built up on stilts a little bit um, if you're not going to just drive on the land. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, wow. <laughs> This is pretty cool. So nice little uh, vacation spot. Um, hope you guys can make that out. There's some uh, serious hills, mountains on all sides. Um, yeah, it'll be kind of a good place to camp. So I don't know if you can make this out. Oh, we'll try. Um, there's little white dots left of my ear are where the three campers were. Uh, the first set of gates where I talked to these people um, just south of a bird sanctuary which is actually a, a, apparently a water treatment uh, waste site so um, anyway yeah not much going on here uh, I guess this is the center of cattle I don't see those cattle but uh, yeah open fields to the mountains all around perfect visibility and I was ready to stake the property. I'll see what I can find.